running a booth for Metro Parks at... In a quarter mile, turn right onto South Tacoma Way. Oh my god. The GPS is going to drive me crazy again. Because I'm not in the mood to handle it right now. But I'm going to deal with it. Because I need to go. Anyway. Turn I... Turn right onto South Tacoma Way. I ran a booth from Metro Parks and as Crappy miles turn left onto 96th Street South. As crappy as I've been feeling, I was reminded a lot in the last couple days why I am never gonna give up and and that what I'm doing is making a difference and that people count on me. So um, I substitute taught yesterday um, and I was at the school where a lot of the girls from my PAA basketball team that I coached go. And I ran into Peyton at the end of the day while she was waiting for the bus and she told me that she was working on this class assignment and this other kid was talking to me and like was kind of distracting me so I didn't get to talk to her about it but I was like oh that's cool and I could tell that she wanted to tell me more about it um, but then she had to go and then I was going back to get the rest of my stuff before I left and I ran into her teacher who asked if I was Peyton's coach and then told me that Peyton was writing her paper about me and how I've been one of the most influential people in her life and she said she's gonna get me like a hard copy and just wanted to tell me that and it was so sweet and it just reminded me one thing and then I ran into I had my family had this babysitter growing up with me and my sisters uh, there was four of us um, with her and she knew us from the time we were little and you know forever and her mom I was on the verge of tears still because that's just how I've been living my life but her mom said how excited she would be to see me if I went and visited her um, my babysitter Erin and she told me about how Erin used to you know worry about me because I was so quiet and just seemed really you know, like I was just always watching everyone else and thinking about things and she would often ask like her mom if, you know, what she should do because she was concerned. And so that just, you know, helped in half a mile, remind me turn left onto 96th Street South. in a weird way that I have always had depression and I want to know more so I want to go and talk to her. Um, I just think it would be cool to be reminded about things like that from when I was younger and anyway um so there was that and then I went and picked up my dog and got my oil changed and I was so happy to see her um and I was didn't really want to get my oil changed because I don't trust people change oil and but turned out I met some really cool guys there that were very honest and smart and taught me a lot about my car and helped me figure things out and it was just a, a nice day um, and then today I worked for Metro Parks um, running a booth for wheelchair basketball um, and I met a lot of people um, and I met someone who worked for Metro Parks who was saying he was so happy to finally meet me and he's you know heard a lot about me and after reading that article that they had um he you know he's just admires me and all that and he wants me to come and speak for them sometime and yeah it was just a uh, nice now i'm going to my aunt's house I'm gonna keep on keeping on.